Vaga K. Sears' property on West Hilldale in Detroit had become an eyesore, so her neighbors called police to force her to do something about it. The community complained because the house had a lot of debris uh, in the front yard. The homeowner tried to get rid of the blight. The homeowner attempted to uh, clean up the area, but the project was a little too large for her. But that's when Detroit police officer Larissa Powell, who was standing on the left, decided that perhaps there was something more Detroit police could do. Officer Powell um, went to actually meet with the homeowner and realized that she was an elderly uh, person. So Detroit police reached out to the mayor's office and a plan was soon devised to have neighborhood police officers team up with police academy students and volunteers from the city's general services department to come out on Wednesday and remove the blight from K Sears property. We're not, you know, just the police but we want to step in and let the community know that we're here, here to assist them as well. Casey admits the cleanup was just too much for her. The big, big branches, I can carry it, you know, big stuff. It's a little bit hard. I'm so glad this police academy, they have a volunteer work and they help me. This senior citizen says this kind gesture by police has her looking at police officers in a new way. I'm usually afraid of, of police officers. I'm not afraid of them because I see they're really helpful. Just beautiful. I, I feel I can trust them. As the cleanup and blight removal wraps up, Case here wants Detroit police to know she is sending this message from her heart. I can just say a big thank you. In Southfield, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.